great one. That's perfectly fine by me. We need a volunteer to come up on the stage for us. Anybody at all. We've got someone pointing to their neighbor, and when we point with one finger, we're pointing back at ourselves three times. Come on up here. Sir. What's your name, sir? David. David. David is going to be an expert for all of our audience tonight. Uh, David, go ahead and stand right here and put your arms behind you just like that. That's perfect. All right. So we will need uh, two of our players to interview, and one person to be Dave, David's arms. He's David. Well, is he number two? I'm number two. I'm sorry. He's Excellent. <laughs> All right. So go ahead and stand right over here. All right. Dave will be an expert in something. And of course, uh, Julie and Dave will be talking to him about some subject. But you know what? He can't just be an, uh, an expert on everything. He needs to be one very specific thing that he's an expert on. We need a suggestion from the audience. What is David an expert on? Toothpicks. toothpicks. You are the world's expert on toothpicks. Now, as you can see, he does not use his own arms, but those are provided for him. All right. We have a seat. Oh, we have some issues here. Oh, no, no issues. All right. We're going to have an interview with David, the toothpick expert, and we'll need help counting it down. And we'll see the scene in five, four, three, two, one. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Woodworking in America. I'm here with David, the toothpick toothp expert. Hi, everyone. How are you doing? David, we're so glad you could be here at Woodworking in America today. Oh, thank you. I'm glad to be here too. So how long have you been fascinated with toothpicks? I began when I was very young. I was watching HGTV and they had a special show on toothpicks and I just fell in love with Stop, them. stop right there. Let me stop right there. Wait, just one second. I love toothpicks. Um, usually though I have to have someone else pick my kid. Did you see my arms? I, I, I have these short little arms. It's like the rest of the kids are back to Except my arms. My arms, they just, I guess they think it's the message or something. <laughs> well, I have a great invention. Uh, it's an extra long toothpick. An extra long toothpick? Hold the phone, stop the presses. Uh, wow! That's amazing. That is amazing. Do you have it with you here today? Uh, yes, I can get out. It's over there. Oh, your case? I didn't notice your big black leather case. Yes, I was saying, I, 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 I carry my toothpicks in my hands. I have a whole set of them. That's a kind of a large, it's more of a steamer trunk, almost, <laughs> for toothpicks. Well, the whole thing actually won't be because you have to have a steamer trunk size. <laughs> and it, it, this is a uh, about three foot long toothpick. Oh my! Well, here, hand it back. Let me go ahead. Well, thank you. Um, and it, that's such a sharp. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah! So much worse because I can't cover my eye with my hair! <laughs> Yes. 
your uh, thing out. Oh my gosh, thank you. Okay, yeah, whoa, whoa. Okay. Yeah. Don't smell. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Uh, 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 Whew. Okay, we got on the ground. So, I'm going to show you guys. I didn't put these two bits together. Super cool. Oh, okay, okay. Here we go. This is the uh, how to portion of uh, woodworking in America today, folks. Okay, so you take a couple toothpicks, you line them down on the uh, special back table, which is super glue resistant. <laughs> then you uh, get your super glue side mounting. Nice, nice. And sort of squirting it very, very slowly. You only have one tiny bit. Okay. <laughs> Oh wait, this never works for me. Uh, <laughs>